good to great why some companies make the great leap and others don't by jim collins when i was running my first company which was a computer repairs outfit i knew i was up against a huge myriad of competitors there were a lot of good and not so good companies doing the same thing and there's a well-known computer village close by so i decided to pick a factor that would give us a big edge speed in responding to the client's call i even went as far as including it in our promotions and adverts if we are not there in 30 minutes we'll do it free calls started rolling in prospects who want to take us up on our word this was our hedgehog concept and by pursuing it relentlessly we outperformed even bigger companies to become the most desirable in the market the first lesson in the good to great is good to great businesses find a simple hedgehog concept and pursue it relentlessly by the way if this is your first time on our channel welcome and consider subscribing because we'll help you to read all the world's best books under seven minutes let's move to the second lesson the advent of technology has done a lot in our world my father was a master printer a somewhat like a chartered accountant today in the days of his youth he had a fully equipped printing press from the adana letter press printer 201 printing machine a camera exposing chamber for films and plates he even had a drawing board with an exotic t-square he was a master printer he actually went to belgium then to do a major purchase of new set of machineries what this means is that if he gets a contract to print a book his press handles the typesetting page layout design shooting the film exposing the plate the printing and the finishing from start to finish then came the advent of computers without the help of these heavy duty machinery you can create amazing designs and book layouts on the computer within a record time daddy thought the trend will just pass away with time he did not embrace the computer technology and it was just a matter of time his printing business went under the second major lesson in the good to great is technology is a great ally for success it is a great friend to advance progress good to great companies adapt to new trends while in university a friend started a business a bead making business which started on a poor note she was close to despair as she had invested a lot into the business then she struck gold she met a high society girl that loved beautiful things she introduced the business and offered her a percentage if she would be her partner in just six months my friend's business was booming her partner had brought in a lot of customers these people could afford to patronize her and kept referring her to others like themselves in business giving the right people a chance matters a lot hiring qualified people to do the job drives a company to success the third lesson in good to great is make the right contacts and connections put the right people in the right place never hire with emotions BBC aired a news some times back about a British government representative to the parliament whose major duty was to provide answers to the questions of the royal family. This representative was late to the chambers for about 15 minutes on a particular day. When he came, he asked for permission to offer an apology. He said, I offer my sincere apologies to Baroness Lister for my discourtesy of not being in my place to answer her question in a very important manner at the beginning of questions. During the five years which it has been my privilege to answer questions from this dispatch box on behalf of the government, I have always believed we should rise to the highest possible standards of courtesy and respect in responding on behalf of government to the legitimate questions of the legislator. I am thoroughly ashamed of not being in my place and therefore I shall be offering my resignation to the Prime Minister with immediate effect. I do apologize. The whole house was taken aback. They believed that the government representative was being too harsh on himself. 
they stretch forth their hands to reach out to him. But that is what good to great companies do and that is the fourth major lesson in the good to great. Good to great companies never make excuses for failure. They will investigate and find out reasons for failure. The leaders are also disciplined and so show good examples to other employees. Dave Scott was a triathlete. Back in the 1980s, Dave Scott earned the nickname The Man for his intense training regimens and his unrelenting race performances that created a number of wins. A record six wins at the Ironman World Championships in 1980, 1982, 1983, 1984, 1986 and 1987. He will bike 75 miles, run 17 miles and swim 12 miles every single day. It was a grueling regime. Despite this, he still had the self-discipline to rinse his daily meal of cottage cheese before eating it to minimize his fat consumption. Good to great companies were filled with people with the same level of diligence and intensity as Dave Scott, working towards the simple strategy which their company was following. The fifth lesson we could learn from the book Good to Great is, good to great companies follow culture of rigorous self-discipline and adhere to the simple hedgehog concept. Now, let's discuss. What lessons do you think I missed in this book? What points would you like to add? Which other good books would you like our team to summarize next? We love to receive your comments. If you love the summary, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, subscribe now and turn on the notification because we'll help you to read all the best books in the world within 7 minutes. Look at the screen now to click the next video we recommend for you. We love you.